Hello dear learners, how are you today? I hope that you're all doing fine. Make sure that you are in a convenient place for you to stay while watching this instructional video. In this video presentation, I'll be discussing concentration of solution through per percentage concentration by mass and percentage concentration by volume. May I request everyone to have with you your learning activity sheets, answer sheets, and a pen for you to use in completing your activities. Just a reminder, my dear learners, practice personal hygiene protocols at all times. After this video lesson, you are expected to use different ways of expressing concentration of solutions that is through percent by mass, mol fraction, molarity, molality, percent by volume, percent by mass, and ppm. And we're going to focus on percent by mass and percent by volume. What are solutions? Solutions are homogeneous mixtures of two or more substances that are composed of solute and solvent. Solutions can be classified according to its phase, gaseous, liquid, or solid solutions. Solvent is the component of solution that exists in greater quantity and which usually dictates the phase of matter of the solution. And solute is the component of solution that exists in lesser quantity. In concentration of solution through percent by mass and volume, the concentration of a solution can be expressed in different units. Concentration is defined as the amount of solute dissolved in given amount of solution. The denominator is the total amount of solution, which includes the amount of solute. Therefore, concentration of solution through percent by mass and volume will have a general equation of concentration is equal to amount of solute all over amount of solution. We have common units that use percent concentrations with the mathematical calculations and that is through 1 percent by mass or by symbol that is percent mass all over mass is equal to mass of solute all over mass of solute plus mass of solvent or known as the mass of solution times 100 percent and for the mass of volume or by volume we have percent V all over V is equal to volume of solute all over volume of solute plus volume of solvent or the volume of solution times 100%. So let's have percentage concentration by mass. When using percentage concentration by mass in expressing concentration, it is important to realize that the mass of solute plus mass of solvent is equal to the mass of solution. So this equation shows that fraction can be converted to a percent by dividing the numerator, which is the mass of solute, by the denominator, which is the sum of the masses of solute and solvent, which is the mass of solution, multiplying by 100 and adding a percent sign. So let's have a sample problem. And here's the problem. If 8 gram of glucose is mixed with 42 gram of water, the total mass of the solution is 50 gram. The concentration of the resulting solution would be solved as follows. In doing calculations, it is both important to determine the given quantities or values in a given problem first. So we have mass of solute is equal to 8 gram, mass solvent is equal to 42 gram, and the mass of solution is equal to 50 gram. So let's apply now the equation 
by and calculate the percentage concentration of solute and solvent by substituting the values. So we have percentage mass solute is equal to 8 gram all over 50 gram multiplied by 100 is equal to 16%. And for the mass or percentage by mass solvent is equal to 42 gram which is the mass of solvent all over the mass of solution which is 50 gram multiplied by 100% is equal to 84%. So as you can see, if you're going to get the sum of the percentages of mass solute and mass solvent, it, is, it will always add up to 100%. That is 16 plus 84% is equal to 100%. This time, let's do mathematical calculations on percentage concentration by volume. In percentage concentration by volume, this unit is typically used when liquids or gases are the solute. And this equation shows that fraction can be converted to a percent by dividing the numerator, which is the volume of solute, by the denominator, which is the sum of the volumes of solute and solvent which is the volume of solution multiplying by 100 and adding a percent sign so let's have an example at 250 ml of certain brand of vinegar was analyzed to contain 50 ml of acetic acid calculate the percentage composition by volume of the vinegar take note that acetic acid is our solute here and therefore our solvent is water. In performing a mathematical calculations, it is very important to determine the given quantities or values in a given problem. So we have your volume of solute is equal to 50 ml, which is your acetic acid. Volume of solvent is equal to 200 ml, which is water theoretically water and the volume of solution is equal to 250 ml now let's proceed to the solution this time you're just going to substitute the given values so in in uh, calculating the percentage concentration by volume we are just going to divide the the volume of solute all over the volume of solution multiplied by 100 and that is for um, percentage by volume solute so we have here substitute the value 50 ml multiplied by 250 ml which is the volume of solution times 100 percent is equal to 20 percent and that is the percentage by volume of solute how about the volume or percentage by volume of sol solvent? Do you have any guess? How many percent does the volume of solvent in this problem is? Okay, it must be 80%. So, that is uh, done or calculated by Dividing 200 ml of solvent divided by 250 ml of solution times 100% is equal to 80%. Because as we say, a solution is always 100%. How about if you were asked to calculate the volume of the component that is it would be the solute or the solvent. So let's have another example. A bottle of wine that is 40% by volume, alcohol means that 14 ml of alcohol is present in 100 ml of the wine. Calculate the volume of solute, which is the wine. 
So it's very important for you to determine the given values first. Percentage solute is equal to 14%, right? The volume of solution is equal to 100 ml. So by substituting the values, we have 14% solute is equal to the unit sought for, which is the volume of solute, all over 100 ml times 100%. So all you have to do is to derive the formula first. So the formula in computing the volume of solute or any component of the solution is equal to concentration of solute multiplied by the volume of solution divided by 100. So let's proceed to the solution. So volume of solute which is wine is equal to 14 multiplied by 100 ml which is the volume of solution divided by 100 is equal to 14 ml. If the volume of solute is 14 ml, therefore, what is the volume of our solvent if the solution is 100 ml? If you said 86, then you are correct. For your task, answer the following problems. Your answer must be written in your answer sheets provided to you. So before I end this video lesson, I just want to commend everyone for making this part. And for you to get 10 plus factor points, just send me the word 1, underscore your name, and send it through my phone number 0955-255-8571 or you can send a personal message through my messenger account NRA Sansano Obilio. I hope you learned something in this video lesson. Goodbye everyone!